Hello guys, this is Brian here with a quick video. I found a workaround, jerry-rigged way of making the buzzer work on my call director phone. Early in the week I posted on the forum that I couldn't get the buzzer to work. Um, I don't know if it was wired wrong or right on the wrong pair or whatever the case may be. And I believe Sam told me the try a... I can't remember the color, maybe green. I, cause I'm, I'm not from the computer right now, but um, advise me which one to try. And that didn't work either. However, I noticed, because um, I had this on a bridge adapter along with a phone on the wall, um, but I noticed while I plugged in the second pair, because this rolls for the second pair of anyone who never saw a call director for, uh, before, call directors like this has 75 um, pair cable uh, connected the second pair up to the bridge adapter at the same time with this uh, these lights the this row of lights came on like that and I notice when I did the intercom extension 5 that, that lights up and I was kind of thinking to myself, well, since I couldn't figure out to work it right, you know, on the right pair of wires, I thought, well, if I just jerry-rigged a couple, uh, you know, two telephone wires here to the buzzer, voila, it works. But so if anyone knows the proper pair that this is on, so I can connect it properly, if I should attempt that, because <laughs> look at this wire, <laughs> rat's nest of wires were back here. I don't know if I really should attempt that or not because I'm afraid, you know, due to this you know, age of this call director, I believe it's from 1974, that one of these wires will come undone and may not never get it to work right. So I'm going to see if if, if no one knows the proper pair, maybe try to get the wire to go through here and, and fix up nice. Uh, but I have the uh, the buzzer here cable on a wire terminal because obviously the buzzer wire is not long enough to go over here. I did put the buzzer over here, but this one clo uh, set down right. Obviously, um, <laughs> I read this is from '69. Does, does that say '60? Yeah, '69 and '73 and '73 on the dial pad. Let me see what this one says over here. The frame itself is from 75. <laughs> so, it, it works beautifully. Just wish I can make a... I'm, I'm going to see if I can clean it up more. You know, try and get that jury rigged more. Um, for those who don't know, I do have this set behind a Merlin Magic's uh, phone system. So essentially, line one does go to a voice over IP line one, voice over IP line two, then the, my cell phone, which is connected through a uh, X-Link um, Bluetooth adapter. So when you do press these lines, you do get an outside line. Um, however, this is extension 31, 32, 33, and this is extension 34. When you hit this button, it gets the Merlin Magic's intercom line. And this is the internal on the com line. So essentially, I have these two um, phone systems tied in together. Now, interesting enough, I found this adapter off of eBay. A Dufone Telephone Multi-Line Controller. Um, and I thought this was originally going to work with a single-line telephone. But I was kind of playing around with it and hooked it up to uh, line 4 of my um, Merlin Magic's phone system. And selected um, line 5 on here. And it connects to the intercom line. So I can hit the intercom line from the Merlin Magic's to the 1A2. And I can hit extension 31 is line 1.
and I can dial extension 777, which is the all call group on my Magix phone system. Now, the way I have the 1A2 key system set up is, you know, obviously I don't want it to ring all the time during the night. I have my phone system put on night service during the daytime. Um, so all the phones will ring during the daytime and not ring during the, um, the nighttime. So I kind of have it, you know, reverse programming basically in layman's terms. Um, so it's kind of interesting to kind of play around with um, night service. Um, so, you know, I had the phones not ring originally, but when you hit it on night service, they do ring. So, kind of interesting to kind of play around with. Um, one of these days, I like to get into Nortel phone system. Um like to play around with those. Get into that and play around with one of those um, one of these days. But I've always been fond of AT&T Merlins. Um, but like I said, if anyone knows the proper pair, if I should really attempt to fix that underneath this rat's nest, please post below. I, I would really try and really appreciate it and try to do that. I'm going to get this all fixed up and, and when I put the cover on. As well as if anyone knows the proper uh, um, pair that this recall button should be on or flash hook button should be on as well because when I got this call director, when I opened it up, I don't know uh, the green wire was broken off already or it may have not been installed um it was never it didn't go nowhere like i said it was broken off or may have not been installed so it didn't work now the uh, beige or right wire did connect to one of the back here i took a picture of that um so i i don't know if somebody did that after the fact um but here's the hole for the um uh, recall button or flash hook button so I don't know if it was installed during the factory or after the fact I don't know not familiar with that um, do the all call extension from here it's also extension 23 as well As well, I can pick up what's really the paging line actually on the magics, but I can do this access the intercom line. So basically, I have the two systems tied into each other, basically, um, which that's pretty cool to do. Um, but like I said, I, I just don't know if I should really attempt the proper repair due to all the rat's nest wires in there. Or, or not, please let me know if I should attempt. If so, what pair should the buzzard should be on and, and the recall button, if I can even get the recall button to work. Um, like I said, look at this rat's nest of wires. I mean, if anyone hasn't really been underneath a call director or seen the wires of call directors before. So, please post below. I really appreciate it.